what up what up welcome back to the channel i'm odij and we are locked in this is power book four of force the flynn family war now i got a question for you and we already know the answer war what is it good for money powder and power just like they tell us in the intro and also for the flynn family this means get back on the serbs and also tommy egan what did we see this episode Everyone in the Flynn family has came together and they also brought in the four horsemen to have that extra power to run through the streets of Chicago and get back what's rightfully theirs. Now, before we jump into it, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you'll be a part of it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button. It's the easiest thing you can do. The Flynn's, they got a plan in motion. Vic is in charge, Claudia has the intelligence, and Walter is just playing in the background, smoking a cigarette and drinking some whiskey. Now, Polly doesn't want this war to start, but we know how they are. They're using straight feelings, and they want to get it done, and the four horsemen should be the ones to help them. So let's break down this war, and is it good for the Flynn's, or are they in over their head? In order to fight a war, you need numbers, you need muscle. So there is strength in numbers. The first thing Walter needs to do is get Vic on his side. Now we've seen that Vic was in the hospital because him and Gloria, they just got shot up by the Serbs. Now Gloria didn't make it. So Vic, he's in all of his emotions right now. But what Walter is telling them is look, we need to go after Tommy Egan. He may have been the one to set you up. Of course, we know that Tommy didn't have anything to do with it. And Tommy was actually the one to tell Vic that you and Gloria need to get out of here because your dad's trying to kill Gloria. But this kind of does look like a setup. And I can see why Vic is understanding that it might have been Tommy. Now, Walter's trying to convince him. Look, you come with me. We take out everybody that did anything wrong to you. You can get your get back for Gloria and you can get your get back for you. Of course, we know that Walter's going to stick up for his son. That's why he went to the Serbs in the first place. Now, he's the one that actually kicked the hornet's nest. So Walter is the one that got everything started, even though we know that Vic did kill some. No one really knew who Vic was in the streets. The Serbs, they only knew about Tommy. But now Vic, he shot up and Gloria is gone. He's like, you know what? I might need to join up with my father. Mission number two, now we have to get Claudia on board. Now, Claudia, she's out. She's moving down. Yeah, her and Redhead, they at the nightclub. She's trying to get her freak on, but she gets that call. Hey, Vic has been shot up. Now, she gets to the house. And what do we see this whole episode? Both of the kids, they start to apologize to their father because everything he's been saying has been coming true, even though it's not as true as he wants it to be. He still knows what's going on out here. So he's telling Claudia, look, you need to come back to the house. Vic is going to be here and I'm going to need you to watch out for your brother. I told you guys in episode one, Claudia is going to be the one actually pulling the strings. And even Walter explains she's going to be the intelligence behind everything. Vic is just going to be the head of the organization, a.k.a. I'm putting plans together. I'm the general. But you right here, Claudia, you're going to be the run to run things. Walter had a one-on-one -on -one with both of the kids, and now they're both seeing kind of what Walter's been saying has been right. We know that Claudia sat down with Vic, and she was trying to understand why Tommy would set him up, because she's been working directly with Tommy. And we know that Dahlia, that product, isn't moving in the streets really without Tommy. I mean, you got the little stuff going through the clubs with Claudia, but her and Tommy, they have made a partnership, and they got this business running, and it should be booming. But Vic is saying... Tommy never respected him. Yeah, he was messing with Gloria, but when you really start thinking about it, he did tell me to leave. He did tell me to use his car, so maybe it was a setup. Now, Walter is telling him, see, and that's why I've been telling you guys to stick with me. Now, I did mention that both of the kids apologized for everything that they had going on with their dad. Vic, by telling his dad, I'm sorry about what was going on with Gloria. I should have listened to you, but now I want to run this organization. And if we're going to get Tommy, I want to be the leader of it. We also seen that Claudia, she went and apologized to the dad and told Walter, yeah, you know, I've been having some things going on on the side, but I still want to be here in a part of the family. And also Walter told Claudia not to answer any phone calls from Tommy. So at this point, she still doesn't know if she can't trust Tommy. But what does she see next? 
The next thing Claudia sees is Tommy coming out from talking to Mirkovich. Now he's made a deal with Mirkovich, $1.5 million to use his people as muscle, 500,000 to find out who killed Gloria and he handled that. But once Claudia sees Tommy come out of the building from talking to Mirkovich, she goes back to her dad and says, I just seen him talking to the Serbs and I'm all the way in. So from the outside looking in, everyone's thinking Tommy has something to do with this. When in reality, Tommy's just protecting himself from Walter, not from the Flynn's, Claudia and Vic, but from actual Walter. And this is where Claudia tells Tommy, you need to watch your back. So she's stepping away from Tommy. Tommy came to the house because he's wondering, what are we doing with Dahlia? Vic, he already separated himself from Tommy because Gloria got hit. And his dad was all in his ear. So Tommy had to do what Tommy had to do. And that's go team up with the Serbs. There was no other option. He doesn't have any muscle. Diamond told him no already. Now I told you guys there's strength in numbers. What did Walter do? Polly, tell the four horsemen to come in and handle this. Polly never wanted to go to war. But Polly has to do what he's told because Walter is in charge. He goes and picks him up from the airport. They got all the guns. So now it's time for the business meeting. The four horsemen show up. They talk to the Flynn family. Vic tells them I'm in charge. They kind of joke around about Claudia. Walter says, no, Claudia is smart. Claudia knows what's going on in the streets. You're going to use her information. And this is how we're going to run it. Vic is the general. You all do what Vic say. When Claudia gives us some information, you guys do that. Now, my question for you all is, what do you think is going to happen with the four horsemen? Are all of them going to make it back? A couple of them are going to die. And is this a war you really want to go at with Tommy? We know what Tommy's capable of. And the scary thing is we don't know what Tommy's capable of. We know that he can take it to the extreme. But also this show is called Book Four Force and it's starring Tommy Egan. So going to war with Tommy might not be that good. Someone's going to have to die because Tommy's going to wipe them out. But I want to know for you all, do you think that the Flynn, they're going to be able to make it through this war or they're going to lose a lot of people during this going against Tommy and the Serbs? Let me know what you think. I'm Mo IJ. If you like the content on the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy. Beep, boy.